And we're joined now by Claire Brown in our Power Women segment yeah. today. And I know that we are all focused on Breast Cancer Awareness Month mm -hmm. today, so you're wearing your pink today yes. as well. Yes, yes. And so, you know, what is it, why is it so critical that we're talking about women's health issues? You know, I think one of the things is, like we were just discussing, mm -hmm. how prevalent it is among women and that we've normalized the conversation. Yeah. Normalizing the conversation, opening it up is, is the primary focus here. And so it may seem odd and it excites me um, that, it's, that it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. October shows how women have become a voice and an advocate for themselves and for others in order to prevent the journey of breast cancer. And one in eight women will experience a breast cancer diagnosis. And it's the second leading cause of death for women. Most of us have a woman that's very close to us who has experienced this. We can all name them. And we are continually becoming more proactive with prevention. And so that excites me. It, it is. It's, it's a very exciting yeah. thing. And, and especially when we're talking about prevention, I know Arkansas mm -hmm. as a state has done a lot in mm -hmm. terms of yeah. um, doing those proactive approaches. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So our legislature actually has gotten involved. And this year we celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Breast Care Act in Arkansas. And this was passed by our legislature and it led to the development of the breast care program in the state. And this program provides free cervical and breast care screening each year to all women and as well as follow-up care for anything that may be detected in Arkansas. And then in 2017, our legislature passed Act 708 requiring all insurers to cover mammograms and ultrasounds for women over the age of 40. These acts have preventative health care legislation for women's breast health and they've now caused the numbers to drastically decrease in our state so that we no longer have diagnosis we have prevention prevention and mm -hmm. you mentioned a lot of resources that are available to women for those who want to utilize those resources right. where can they go to right and so in order to find out how you can take advantage of these acts in our state if a woman is of age 40 or above with or without insurance, she can receive a free mammogram through her OBGYN or her family practitioner can also order this. If a woman does not have medical insurance, she can still also go to www.arbreastcare.com and find a list of locations and phone numbers for screening places for breast care providers all over the state. These providers also perform an annual pap smear and follow-up treatment, like I mentioned. And there's, if anything's found abnormal and these screenings, I mean, they're truly, this is just such a gift. I mean, yes. we talk about so many things, and, and especially with healthcare and things over the last, I don't know, 12 years. Yeah. Um, but this, we've done this in Arkansas ahead of the game. We have. Yeah, and the numbers really show it. It does. Claire, thanks so much for coming in Thank today. You. We appreciate yeah. it. Of course, we're going to be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere.